first of all, in order to be a successful company, you should be emotionally, enthusiastically attached to the success of your partners. Dreamix is the leadership factory, meaning that we build our own leaders. We have many examples. I'm one of these examples. Getting CEO succession right is hard, even more so in times of great market uncertainty. Today, the end-to-end -end software development company DreamX introduces its new CEO, Stoyan Mitov. Founded in 2005, DreamX is a bespoke software development company that delivers full-scale projects to startups and scale-ups. To date, the company has one partner unicorn in its portfolio and works with founders who end up in the Forbes 30 under 30 rankings. I'm Elena, Innovation Editor at The Recursive, and I'm about to meet with Stoyan Mitov, the new CEO of DreamX. Keep watching to hear his insights on the art of CEO succession. Hello, Stoyan, and welcome to The Recursive Connect. So, how did your career evolve in such a way that you end up becoming the CEO? Yeah, this is uh, an interesting question because initially, when I started in DreamX, my mission was to bring the first direct customers outside of Bulgaria to the company. So this is one of the reasons I spent a lot of time abroad, mainly in the Silicon Valley. And my goal was to knock on doors, to do cold calling, just to find the real direct customers that we should have here and to work with. So I started as a sales. Then during the years we saw that there are another challenges coming. Now we had the clients, but now after that we had to hire the people to work on the projects and with our partners. And then I switched and um, become the head of the talents and culture department, which is responsible for the recruitment, for the retention, for the company culture. So since then I was doing that and now it evolved into the CRO. As a person who's been integral part of DreamX for the past nine years, growing both the business and the people side, you must have tons of lessons learned. Which ones will you now transfer in your new role as the CEO? First of all, in order to be a successful company, you should be emotionally, enthusiastically attached to the success of your partners. Meaning, you should be together during the ups and downs. It's not just the ups, you know. So this is the first one. The second one is that we are a people company. So it's super important who you hire, who you retain, how you grow these people, you know, who you promote, who you set up as an example. And the third one is that through the years we saw that we should shift the into the value chain, meaning that initially we started as developers, now we have product people, now we also organize the processes, we consult our partners on how to build and deliver their products as a whole. So you should shift into the higher value chain of the service that you provide. So these are the three things. And now let's talk a bit about CEO succession. DreamX has always nominated internal leaders for the position and you're the fourth shareholder to become a CEO since its founding. What makes a great CEO successor and what is the value of hiring internally when it comes to leadership? We are super proud of that because DreamX is the, DreamX is the leadership factory, meaning that we build our own leaders. We have many examples. I'm one of these examples. I started in the company from a Jobs BG job board, let's say. I applied through this uh, position there and then now I'm a shareholder, I'm the CEO. And we have many other people that have been junior developers. Now they're managers, but also they have shareholding in the company. So we are this type of company where sky is the limit. So the growth is not uh, bounded by certain level. You can achieve whatever you want. It depends on you. So this is really important. And just to mention, when you have the succession internally, you don't, have, you don't hire like an external CEO, you have this person who is embodying the culture, who, is, who knows the people and the people trust him or her. So this is super important also when you do it internally, not externally. Interesting, thank you. And most CEOs that are promoted internally actually inherit a team of peers. Has this been a challenging for you? And uh, are there any other obstacles that you've encountered so far? Yeah, this is a good question. So frankly, when I had to become the CEO, I went through all my peers and 
spoke with them about the vision that they have. So we aligned together and aligned into this vision. So together we had the vision. And um, second of all is that the first thing that we did is to set up rules on how we are taking decisions, how we are making decisions. So it would be clear how we're going to operate together. So this is super important in my opinion. And how did the previous CEO, Todor Gigilev, ensure that you have a smooth transition into your new role as a CEO now? Yes, of course. Interacting, I mean, constantly with each other, it also prepares you because he was the person that uh, inspired us to, how to say, to be as successful as we are now. And also, in our company, it was never the CEO who is ruling as this single person on top. It was the team that is uh, managing the company, you know. This is really important to know because when you have such a type of company where it's not like the one person's rule, then you have it embodied in the culture so this works out well when you have the succession after all. Great, thank you. So how do you plan to build upon what Mr. Gigilev has built in the past five years now? Mr. Gigilev is still part of the company. He is not leaving the company. We are still working together and making decisions together. We have grown 60% year over year for the last five years on average. And uh, this brought us to the next level. So now together, we're gonna further build upon on our DreamX way, let's say. This is our aim now. You mentioned that uh, DreamX is entering a new stage of maturity. How do you plan to execute on your mission to build people with purpose and continue giving back to the community? I can just sh share three things, let's say. The first one is that we will continue continually being emotionally attached to our partners and we will continually being involved because through the success that they achieve, we see the success of our work. This is how we have the purpose. This is how we are, how to say, becoming successful and feel successful about that. Second of all, we're gonna further, uh, how to say, um, ev further evolve the DreamX way. The DreamX way, what does this mean? This is the people, the purpose, the operational excellence, and then the giving back. The people is, as I mentioned, who you hire, who you promote, how you grow these people, because the people are really making the company. The second of all is the purpose that I mentioned. We are really empowering the people with good ideas for a better world. And when you have all this together, then you have the people that are having sense of belonging and alignment, and they feel as part of something bigger, that, how to say, then the attitude of these people is different, you know, they're enthusiastic, they feel ownership about the things and so on and so on. And then you have this operational excellence. With the scale of the company, this operational excellence is super key. It's the backbone of the company because this is how the company operates. So we invest heavily here, you know, to have, um, to be the platform for growth for the partners and for the people in the DreamX and so on and so on. And then the giving back. We're really proud that we aim to, to donate around, let's say 1% of the revenue per year. Uh, to different causes, and these causes are not chosen by the management, but are chosen by each and every one that is part of DreamX. And they can upload it in a platform, whatever, whatever. We teach at the universities, at Sofia, Povdiv universities, and so on. And then we contribute a lot into the technology communities that we are part of, by conferences, uh, doing interviews, blog posts, etc., etc. So this is, this is the answer, I guess. And last but not least, what is the one piece of advice that you would give to any new CEO? My piece of advice for now is not to be detached from the people, to be open, to be reachable, uh, because you should not get the information what is happening in the company just through other people. You should have the direct communication still with the people. And this is key in order to know what is happening and to be able to address if there is something and to know how to improve. And maybe in a year I may say something else, but who knows? Thank you for watching. For more the Recursive Connect videos, subscribe to our channel and in the meantime, read stories that shape stories on our website.